Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to make this delicious Asian garlic butter noodle recipe. This is a great example of how two cultures come together to make a great dish. Let's get started with our garlic. You want to trim the ends off of one cup of garlic cloves then start chopping. When you chop your garlic, the smaller you chop, the spicier it is and the easier it is to burn. So we're going to leave it chunky. Now we want to make our fried garlic garnish. Start with two cups of canola oil and bring the oil to 200 degrees Fahrenheit then add the chopped garlic. We want to bring the temp of the oil to around 240 degrees Fahrenheit and stir it occasionally. When we stir, we don't want to scrape the bottom of the pan because all the sugars from the garlic will stick to the bottom and burn and we don't want to have burnt pieces in our garlic. When the garlic turns nice and golden brown, take it out of the oil and let it dry on paper towels for a few minutes. This is going to help absorb any excess oil in the garlic and keep it nice and crispy. Don't throw the oil away because we'll use some of this later in the recipe and it's also a great flavored oil to have on hand. On to the noodles. I'm using a fresh spaghetti noodle because I like the size of it, it cooks quick and it's already made, but you can use any noodle you want or have at home. Dry spaghetti is good for this too, but nothing beats fresh noodles. Leave me a comment if you want to see me make these noodles from scratch in another video. Bring a pot of unsalted water to a boil and add 10 ounces of fresh noodles. These cook quick so eat one to see if they are fully cooked. With our pan on medium heat we want to add 1 tablespoon of our garlic oil and 3 tablespoons of our chopped garlic. We want to cook this until it starts to caramelize and get nice and golden brown and then we're going to add 3 tablespoons of butter. Then add 2 tablespoons of fish sauce for a nice umami flavor, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce and 2 teaspoons of chicken powder. Now that everything's fully incorporated, we want to add our cooked noodles and toss it a few times to coat them with the garlic butter. To make the sauce nice and creamy, add a few tablespoons of the water from the noodles and mix it together. This is a simple emulsification of a liquid and a fat with the starch being the binding agent. If the noodles still look greasy, just add another tablespoon of noodle water and keep mixing. Add the Parmesan cheese and a few turns of the pepper mill and we're ready to plate our noodles. Finished with grated Parmesan cheese, our fried garlic, some green onions, and you just made the best Asian garlic butter noodle recipe. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoy these noodles as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time.